All right, everyone, Enchanter Tim here with Duelist Community College, and as you can see, we are going to be doing our King's Court opening that we're going to use to make a deck and battle Fat Guy Yu-Gi-Oh! So, as you can see, uh, we also have it labeled Odds and Evens, because I want to make an even more randomized thing in here, so. All right, so let's roll the dice, see what it gets. It is an odd, all right. So, Evens, going off to the side. All right, still, as you can see, still says Odds. Also, I will be showing you my seven uh, packs of OTS that I opened up while I was getting food. Um, there's one that's uh, pretty exciting in there, and I'm very happy I got it. All right, let's hope we get some good pulls. So, let's see, Unexpected Die, Constellar, Paltemi, whatever, M7, oh, Queen's Knight, hell yeah. Downsing Fusion, Soul of the Prophet, Cloud Castle, and Tindangle D-Holes. <laughs> I'm going to try to make that work just because I love that name. Um, I'm not sure what's all, obviously, that I can pull. I haven't really looked too much into it, but I would love Unexpected Die, the Wicked Eraser, Tornado Bringer, Downsing Fusion again, Wicked Dreadroot, Pendulum Transfer, and ooh, Joker's Wild. Heck yeah. I uh, would love to get a full set of King's Queen and Jack, as well as their... Ooh, Gravekeeper Spy. As well as some of the cards to help that they can use. Uh, number C39 Utopia Ray. Ultimate Shield, Pendulum Transfer, Pod Duality, Wind-Up Arsenal, Zenmayo? Zenmayo. And World Legacy Guard Dragon. That I know I'm not going to use. <laughs> Unless there's more dragons in here than I would imagine. Alright, so we got... ZW Ultimate Shield, Rescue Rabbit, The Wicked Dread Root, another M7, Stardust Jailong, another Gravekeeper Spy, and Crystal Girl. Ooh, Jack's Knight, Ties of the Brethren, uh, Tornado Bringer, Stardust Jailong, Eagle Claw, Leo Arms, and Hyper Galaxy. Down scene fusion, wind up arsenals, pot of duality, Zolga, Majestic Dragon, Clown Castle, and oh, and at the Ting Day and Call Hot holes Not even sure what it does, but again, I'm gonna have at least one, hopefully, in the deck. Unless if it completely just like destroys the consistency and whatever. Rescue Rabbit, Arcana Extra Joker, Ka another M7, Wicked Dread Root, Wicked Eraser, Golden Eyes Idol, and Joker Straight. All right, Utopic Future, Pendulum XYZ, Arcana Night Joker, Rivalry of the Warlords, Reinforcement of the Army, probably going to use it, uh, Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing, and Rose Princess. Our Joker straight was our uh, ultra, wasn't it? Bummer. Utopic Future, Utopia, Eternal Bond, Queen's Knight. Don't have any kings yet, that's unfortunate. Uh, Pendulum, Golden Eyes, and Court of Cards. Oops. Mess that up. Eternal Bond, the Warrior Returning Alive, Majestic Dragon, Ultimate Shield, Cloud Castle, Converging Wishes, and Thunder Speed Summon. Oh, come on. Out of Duality. Wind Up Arsenal, Eternal Bond, Infinite Cards, Warrior Returning Alive, Converging Wishes, and Chow Fang, Phantom of the Engine. Utopia Ray, Rivalry of Warlords, Arcana, Night Joker, and Extra Joker in the same one. Uh, Leo Arms, Zolga, and Joker. Ooh, Joker's Knight. Nice. Still don't have any kings. One Jack, and one and two Queens. So hopefully uh, we get some more of those. Otherwise, it might not be so good. Uh, Eternal Bond, Warrior Returning Alive, Majestic Dragon, Ultimate Shield, Cloud Castle, Conversion Wishes, and Fortune Tune. We are also on the second pile, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> so, uh, running low. Extra Joker, Pendulum, uh, Ties of the Brethren, Wicked Racer, Arcana Knight Joker, Careful Playset. Ooh, Squin Scrap Twin Dragon, as well as a uh, Gravekeeper Spy. Azolga, Cloud Castle, oh, King's Knight, finally got one. Majestic Dragon, Utopia, Stardust, and Hyper Cannon. 
Zolga. Unexpected Die, The Wicked Eraser, Tornado Bringer, Down Scene, Wicked Dreadroot, and World Legacy again. Arcana Extra, Leo Arms, Zolga, Unexpected, Wicked Eraser, Tornado Bringer, and another Chowfin. Oh my god, what's with all the doubles? Oh, this ain't good. Queen's Knight, alright, got a full play set. Uh, Down Sing, Zolga, Cloud Castle, Ooh, second King's Knight, nice. And another, oh my god, another double. Uh, second tw Scrap Twin Dragon. Uh oh, no, don't bend cards. This one did not open smooth. Wicked Dread Root, M7, Stardust, Gravekeeper Spy, Reinforcement of the Army. Uh, Ties of the Brethren and Court of Cards. Another double. For those of you who actually do follow my Twitter, by the way, uh, you will have seen a post of what I did pull from my uh, OTS Pack 16s and understand also that I said I would have probably used all my luck on that. So, uh, Utopia Ray, Reinforcement of the Army, Baxia, Utopic Fortune, Queen's Knight, and another Fortune Tune. So, so many doubles. Oh my god. Wicked Avatar, Eagle Claw, Rescue Rabbit, Infinite Cards, Leo Arms, Rivalry, and Magnet Induction. Down to the last three packs. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm so worried. Wicked Avatar, Utopia Ray, Rivalry, Arcana Knight, Extra Joker, Leo, and another third Xiao Fen. Pendulum Transfer, Tornado Bringer, Golden Eyes, Wicked Avatar, Unexpected Die, Warrior Returning Alive, and Crystal Girl. I need another jack. At least one. Pendulum. Eagle Claw. Well, there's the third King's Knight, I believe. Utopia. Arsenal. Infinite. And oh my god. Well, I'm gonna try to build the best deck I can with what you saw me open. I, I really can't promise anything, but yeah. I will do my best, because I, I will hopefully still beat him. Uh, we'll see. We, we can use any cards we can hold, so I could use three Reinforcement of the Armies if I wanted. Anyways, here's the cards I pulled from the OTS Pack 16s. Cybersaurus, Royal Magical Library, Mausoleum of the Emperor, Miracle Dig, Alien Brain, Tri-Brigade Nerval, Royal Magical Library, Reptilian Hydra, Virtual World Gate Quinlong, uh, Stardust Wish, Alien Brain, Cyberstein, another Royal Magical Library, Stardust Flash, Geonator Transverser, Breath of Acclamation, Lion Alligator, King of the Skull Servants, a Miracle Dig, Tillian Hydra, and the one Forbidden Droplet Ultimate Rare. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm really happy because as uh, you guys also know, if you watched my last video, uh, I sold accidentally uh, the th other three Forbidden Droplets I had. Like, they were the standard secret run from what Rise of the Duelist, but I needed them. So I'm up, back up to one of three, so that's great. Anyways, I'm going to go see what I can build. Hopefully it's something good, and I'll be back. Three hours later. All right, everyone. I'm back, and this is the deck that I'm going to be dueling Fat Guy with. Um, as you can still see... Still seal the, the other one. I'll be opening up after I do this little deck profile, so let's just get right into it. I do got my extra deck, my side deck, and my main deck to show off. So so first, three Queen's Knights. Uh, of course, I was going to run them because I had a full set. Three King's Knight. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, while you control Queen's Knight, you can special summon one Jack's Knight from your deck. And of course, to go with both of those, one Jack's Knight. We also have one Joker's Knight. You can send one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from deck to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, this card's name becomes the sent monster's name until the end phase. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one other light monster 
in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Joker's Knight once per turn. Then we have one Wicked Dread Root. Cannot be special summon. Must be normal summon set by attributing three monsters. The attack and defense of all of the monsters on the field are halved. The downside of that is that does include your side of the field as well. One Wicked Eraser. Cannot be special summoned. Must be normal summon set by attributing three monsters. This card's attack and defense are equal to the number of cards your opponent controls times 1,000. During your main phase, you can destroy this card. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, destroy all cards on the field. Then we have three ZW Ultimate Shields. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one of your banished XYZ monsters. Special summon that target in face-up defense position. You can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this monster on the field to that target. It gains 2,000 defense. You can only control one face-up ZW Ultimate Shield. So, of course, we're using that basically just as a 2,000 wall while I hopefully can pull out some of the cards. Then we have two ZW Tornado Bringers. You can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this monster from your hand or face-up field to the target. It gains 1,300 attack while this card is equipped to a monster. Your opponent cannot target that monster with card effects. If a monster equipped with this card would be destroyed by battle, destroy this card instead. You can only control one face-up ZW Tornado Bringer. Then to round that off, we have one ZW Eagle Claw. If your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this monster on the field to that target. It gains 2,000 attack once per turn while this card is equipped to a monster. Negate the first trap card or effect activated on your opponent's field when it resolves. You can only control one ZW Eagle Claw. Then we have to Zolga the Prophets. The part of the effect that does matter, when a monster that was normal summoned by attributing this card declares an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Destroy that monster, and if you do, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. You know. Then from there, we do go three Gravekeeper Spies. When it's flipped, special summon one Grave keeper's monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck. To round out the monsters we have one Stardust Zhao Long, but what does matter is each turn the first time this card would be destroyed by battle it is not destroyed and that is actually why I run one. And then we go one Joker straight, discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck, add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except light warrior monsters. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. You can only use each effect of Joker Street once per turn. Then we have one Thunder Speed Summon. During the main or battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level 10 monster. Or if you control Queens, Kings, and Jack's Knight, you can apply this in fact instead. Add one level 10 non-dark monster with question attack from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one level 10 monster. You can only activate one thunder speed summon per turn. One dowsing fusion, because I only have one Jax Knight, so I'd only ever be able to use one. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your graveyard. Only pendulum monsters can be used as fusion material for the card's effect. Wait, what? So in hindsight, that one might be taken out. Full disclosure, it might be. I'm going to test that one, specifically test that card. Uh, to make sure I can't do the Kings, Queens, and Jacks Knight to get the Arcana Knight Joker. If I can't, it will be pulled, and I will swap it, and if I do... From there we have two Unexpected Dies. If you control no monster, special summon one level 4 or lower normal monster from the deck. Three Reinforcement of the Armies. Add one level 4 or lower Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. From there... Three, the Warrior Returning Alive. Target one Warrior monster in your grave. Add that target to your hand. And for the last of the spells... Three pot of duality, excavate the top three of your deck, add one of them to your hand. After that, shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only activate one pot of duality per turn. You cannot special summon. During the turn, you activate this card. One Joker's Wild. During the main or battle phase, send one spell from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all of Queens, Kings, and Jack's Knight. This effect becomes a spell's effect when this card is activated. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Light Warrior monster in your grave, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Two Court of Cards. If you control no monsters or only control Queens, Kings, and or Jack's Knight, you can special summon one Queens, Kings, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. 
You can banish up to one of each queens, kings, or jacks knight from your hand and or grave. Draw the same number of cards that you banished. You can only use one quart of cards effect per turn and only once that turn. And then for the last three cards of the deck, three Rivalry of Warlords. Each player can only control one type of monster. Send all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. I do believe uh, my deck is a 42 card, so I mean I could easily cut the Douse Infusion if it's not working how I had initially thought before fully, again, secondly reading the card. But anyways, if it doesn't allow me to pull out one of the Arcana Night Chokers, then it will. A fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above materials once per turn when a fusion slash trap card or monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field. You can discard the same type of card, monster, spell, or trap to negate the effect. 2ZW Leo Arms cannot attack directly, but once per turn you can detach one material from this card. Add one ZW monster from your deck to your hand. You can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this monster on the field to the target. It gains 3,000 attack during your battle phase. If the equipped monster attacked this turn, you can send this equipped card to the graveyard. The equipped monster can make a second attack on an opponent's monster during this battle phase. To wind up arsenal, Zen Mayos. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target two set cards on the field and destroy them. To number 39, Utopias. When a monster declares an attack, you can detach one material from this card, negate the attack. If this card is targeted for an attack while it has no material, destroy this card. To number C39 Utopia Rays. You can also XYZ summon this card by using a number 39 Utopia you control as material. You then transfer the materials to this card. You can detach one material from the card. It gains 500 attack until the end of this turn, and if it does, one monster your opponent controls loses 1,000 attack until the end of this turn. You must have 1,000. You must have 1,000 life points or less to activate and resolve this effect. One number F0, Utopic Future. This card's original rank is always treated as one. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can take control of that opponent's monster until the end of the battle phase. If this face-up card on the field would be destroyed by a card effect, you can attach one material from this card instead. And then last, three Arcana. Extra Jokers. Once per turn, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field or monster this card points to, you can discard the same type of card to negate the activation when this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one level 4 warrior normal monster from your deck. And if you do, add one level 4 warrior monster from your deck to your hand. So that's all for the extra deck. Now let's quickly go through the side, at least of what can be considered a side, I suppose. One Wicked Dreadroot. One Wicked Avatar. It cannot be summoned, must be normal summon set. By tributing three monsters, if this card is normal summoned, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards until the end of their second turn after this effect activate. This card's attack and defense are equal to the highest attack on the field, plus 100, except the Wicked Avatar. One ZW Eagle Claw. One Tendangle D Holes. If this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you can target one Tendangle monster in your graveyard except D Holes. Special summon it in face down defense position. You can only use each of the preceding effects of Tendangle D Holes once per turn. A Tendangle Link monster that uses this card as material can make three attacks during each battle phase. One Zolga the Prophet. One Rose Princess. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, treat this card as a tuner. You can only special summon Rose Princess once per turn this way. You can discard this card, add one White Rose Cloister from your deck to your hand. One Stardust Shaolong, one Unexpected Die, one Ties of the Brethren. Pay 2,000 life points and target one level 4 or lower monster you control for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters. Also special summon two monsters from your deck with the same type, attribute, and level as that monster, but with different names from each other and that monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activated this card. Two more Daosing Fusions, one Baxia Brightness of the Yang Zing. When this card is Synchro Summoned, once per turn you can target one card you control and one level 4 lower monster in your graveyard. Destroy the card on the field, and if you do, special summon the other monster from the grave would be the only reason to use that card. Another Utopia, another Utopia Ray, and one more Utopic Future to be the full 15. Again, that's everything. All right, here's to hoping I can come out on top, on top of that guy. Sounds wrong, but hey, that's how it, why we read it. So, all right, guys, later. A few moments later. All right, everyone, so I did have to make some few changes to the deck, so I thought I'd just quickly record that. For the three Arcana Knight Jokers, 
I'm going to swap in three Chao Feng Phantom of the Yangzhi, mainly because I do have that one, uh, the Rose Princess or whatever that's in my deck that counts as a tuner. And then I only need to get two level fours to merge in with it to make this guy. So, And then I can easily swap others from the side deck into that if I need to later. For the two Dowsing Fusions from the extra deck, I'm going to be putting in two Rescue Rabbits. Cannot be Special Summoned from the deck. You can banish this card you control. Special Summon two a level four or lower normal monsters with the same name from your deck, but destroy them during the end phase. You can only use this effect of Rescue Rabbit once per turn. Then for the one Dowsing Fusion that was in the deck, another Stardust Zhao Long. And then I am also going to be swapping out my one copy of Joker Straight for one Collector's Rare Joker Straight. I ended up opening my second box, and this was really the only thing that was better in that one. Uh, it came with also two Jax Knights, which obviously better than one. Like three Joker's Wilds, and two Rose Princesses, I think, were the only differences, really. Now that is everything, and now let's see how it goes on Monday. Alright guys, peace.